some will call it cloud chasing and i'm not gonna lie to you man half the times i was making the videos these past few months like bro who's looking for coin methods yo what is good with y'all man hope everyone's chilling forehead looking like a damn five symbol i'm i mean you can tell i'm a little bummed out you can tell i don't have you know the drains in me like i said i was gonna have man the damn surgery got delayed bro and i'm i'm gonna dabble into it it's not my fault i didn't do anything wrong got a helicopter outside now so if you're hearing that you know the deal but back to the story bro i didn't do anything wrong apparently they didn't like my insurance pa payment is still pending but something that is far beyond my education grade but it's like bro that's not i didn't do anything man you guys dropped the ball how are you gonna call me 24 hours prior to surgery time 24 hours i'm already nervous enough but i'm already stressed the flip out come on y'all that's wrong man it's wrong i'm not gonna lie to you man we had a rough couple nights just like thinking like is this gonna happen bro is this going down the nurses at ucla told me like oh we're gonna do everything we can to get this situation worked out and in hindsight it's like yeah no shit no shit get it worked out man because i didn't do nothing but on the flip side it's like bro at least you still have your health at least you still have your conscience like your family everything is still intact stop bitching stop complaining man because at the end of the day it could be going like that so real talk, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I need to stop acting like a little female. I need to stop acting like a little, playing the victim role, you know what I'm saying? Relax, bro. If the surgery's gonna happen soon, it's gonna happen soon. If not, it's not. Adjust, make it happen, lose some more weight. It's not something I want. Obviously, I don't want these fucking glands in my chest, but you know what? It is what it is, bro. If it's not God's plan, if it's not his intention to get it out of my body at this moment or at this certain time, then it's not. I hope it is. Like, I'm trying to enjoy the rest of my summer, man. I'm trying to go into the new school year. Like, I mean, like I said, the happiness will be elevated a little more, but that's not the root to my happiness. I still got my family. I still got my shelter. I still got everything going for me, man. And I'm blessed. I'm just, mainly I'm saying that so I can reassure my damn self and letting you guys know at the same time that there's more to life than what's right in front of you, man. Like, don't, if it's something negative right in front of you, focus on that negative, but like, is it, are you dead? Are you dying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's levels to negativity. Point is, use this story right here, right now to show you that life is unexpected. You, If you plan something, not necessarily, like, it's not gonna work out sometimes. You know what I'm saying? That's just how life works, but we gotta roll with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Now that all that has been said, now that you guys got, you know what I'm saying, my little my little vent off, now we can see what the deal is with this game. Rise to Fame and Madden 21. I already pre-ordered the MVP edition yesterday. And for those that don't know, man, EA Access. EA Access. Let me tell y'all something, man. If you want to go ahead and finesse, I don't even know if you can finesse it, but let's say you copy EA Access for like a month, right? And I would personally buy it right now. I would use it. I would use this time to purchase EA Access because you're getting FIFA for free. You're getting Madden for free, realistically. And it's like, come on now. $80 compared to $105 for the MVP edition. Which one would you have to pay? I dropped $80 to be exact. 80 on the dot. 80.99, whatever. But still, would you rather be paying 80 or $100 for the MVP edition? And we're getting three day early access. Lamar Jack power up item. One large quick sell training pack, which is probably gonna be like 500 training coins. I ain't no damn large quick sell. MCS Ultimate Championship Pack. I better be pulling some heat. That's all I'm saying. We don't know what we're gonna get out of these packs. I need to start doing more research. For those that know, any type of leak website, any type of website that um, releases leaks early, information, news on Madden 21, please let me know. I'm trying to cover all things that I'm trying to make it happen when it comes to the video. I'm doing my research on my end, but a little help from y'all will help too, feel me? We also get one Your Choice Uniform Pack. Not sure what that means. Not sure if we're going to be able to create our own shit. I don't know. You know let me enter my name. Your choice. I don't know. Whatever. Choose one of 32 elite players from a team elite pack. This is going to be huge, man. This is where I pulled Larry Allen last year. Day one. And didn't hop on the game for another four months. It's like, at least sell the card. 
at least sell the car so you can come back and get your profit. Why would you? I, I literally pulled Larry Allen, celebrated, then jumped onto MLB the show for like the next three months. It's like you just you effed up everything. From the looks of it, man, that pre-order bundle's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice, man. I'm not necessarily sure what the other ones got in store. Mm -hmm. You know it's not gonna be as nice as the MVP edition, but you got the deluxe and you got the regular. Let me know down below real quick, before we continue on in the video, which one are you guys aiming to get? Like I said, I already pre-ordered the MVP edition. Which one are y'all going for? Hey, man, I, I farts with Lamar Jackson, bro. Like, low-key, you gotta think about it. He's not really in the limelight like that. Not the best looking dude. So he's not really out there chasing the punani like that, you know what I'm saying? All he's focused on is his damn, his work, his grind. Not bad for a running back. That that quote right there gives me chills, man. I'm about to start dabbling into it. When some of y'all look at the title of the video, I'm probably like, what are you doing, bro? This ain't even it. This isn't, you're not even talking about what I came to the video for. Relax, relax. That's what this video is about. It's about the final content of Dre. I knew it was weak. I knew it was so lackluster and I'm not, this video is not to climb on man. It's not to sit here and you know bash on this, the guys at the you know, EA Studios, man. They've been doing their thing all year. They've been trying to make things happen for us. They've been dropping promos. The coronavirus hit, and I'm not gonna say it has anything to do with the football season because it really doesn't. It really doesn't. But I guess they have to have like you gotta think of the workspaces, the confines of the office, like how many people can come in at the same time, like who's working on the game at a certain time, they should be sending equipment home though. You would think they have enough money to do that. Just saying, EA. But shit, it's all good. I don't necessarily know why they didn't come out with the position heroes. Why did they didn't come out with the, um, was there one more promo that I'm missing? That might've just been position heroes, but still, I was saving this DeAndre Hopkins for next year, man. Rookie premier Joe Burrow now in packs. Debut rookies on your ultimate team, I'm cool. Listen. But I'm over here saving my D-Hop that I pulled back when the Easter egg promos were out. I've been saving them for the position hero all year. And look, they didn't even drop it. They didn't even drop it. This is why it's crazy, man. This Some things in life will literally attest to live in the moment. Because it's like, all right, I'm planning for the future with this D-Hop. And yeah, it is smart to plan to um, plan for the future to a certain extent. But then again, we don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes of our own lives. Unless we're sitting inside in a bubble. Then yeah, I guess you can predict the next five minutes. If you're sitting inside watching a movie, maybe the next five minutes you'll still be sitting inside watching a movie. But within those five minutes, you can get a text from your homie saying, dude, check this out. Such and such passed away. You can get a text from this person. You can get a call from this person. Like, a lot can happen in five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Live in the moment. You don't know what's going to happen. So I should have took my money. I should have been smart about it and sold my d -hop. He was going for like a buck fifty at the time, man. Now he's probably going for like 10,000 coins. And it's sickening. 60K. Still though, man, that's ridiculous. The fact that I could have made triple profit off that, it just goes to show you. Don't, don't be planning for nothing that you don't know what's going to happen. Look at this Larry Fitz. I have Larry Fitz just sitting in the in my item binder. I don't know why I haven't let him go. Shit, 75k. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these. I'm gonna sell Bobby Bell. I'm gonna sell Larry Fitz. This is just me trying to stack up coins so I can uh, get a nice little. Wait, what? Bro, why do you still have these these uh these Ultimate Legends? And you know what? You know what's funny? I told myself, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna buy these Bruce Matthews while they're for going for the low right now. They're going for like 30 something K not too long ago. He's going for 100 and something K now. I love that. So I guess it is kind of smart. I'm contradicting myself. It is kind of smart to invest in the future. But then again, you don't know. Don't act like you're a genius and you're gonna be able to predict the future because you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're really not. I'm gonna go ahead and take my 96 K. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna ruin someone's day, man. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell that Larry Fitz for about 70 on the dot. Ain't no reason to try and finesse and get these coins this late in the year, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though all I do is make the coin method videos, some will call it clout chasing, and I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Half the times, I was making the videos these past few months like, bro, who's looking for coin methods? There's no one trying to find coin methods, bro. And if they have the coin methods, they already know how to do it. They don't need your video to guide them. At that point, you're just trying to chase for clout. 
And sometimes you got to go through certain things in your own life to realize that, you feel me? Sometimes you got to go through your own little, you got to hit your own wall to realize you need to turn around and not go that direction. That's a dead end. This maze ain't, you know what I'm saying? Life is a maze. You hit one corner and it's a, it's a wall. What are you going to do? Keep walking? You're going to keep going into the wall? Nah, dude, turn your ass around and go find another path. Just like the clout chasing. That's not the method. That's not the method. Yeah, it got, I mean, we gained a significant amount of subscribers due to that, and I appreciate y'all, but ride the wave. Hop off when it's necessary. Don't continue riding it to the point where you're going to drown. That's all I'm saying, if that makes enough sense for y'all, man. I'm going to go ahead and let this Larry Fish go. I've been rambling on for about 11, 12 minutes now. This video has been all over the place, but you guys understand what I'm talking about, man. I first hopped on complaining about EA and their content, you know what I'm saying? Not really knowing what's gonna happen next year. But all I know is we have a solid game, man. Solid, solid game. Next game's coming out in, I'm not gonna say, a little over a month. It's gonna be nothing but good times. It's gonna be nothing but high velocity when it comes to the videos dropping, man. That's what I'm saying if y'all. And I watched Xerxes' video the other day, man. I was a little, a little salty, a little salty. He's talking about mad YouTubers. Your boy's name was not even in there. I know I make coin methods and stuff, but you gonna know, you gonna see, bro. You gonna see, man. Watch next year. Your boy's gonna be at the top of that damn list. Top. Mark my words. And I'm not mad at the bro. I'm just saying little stuff like that. Whether you want to remit it or not, some people are. Oh, that doesn't bother me. Oh, it bothers me. It bothers me. Not that I need recognition from another dude, but just the fact that I'm not on that list. If that makes sense, like I, I want to be on that list. I want to come for that number one spot. Just that Kobe mentality, just that dog mentality, bro. And some people are like, bro, you're posting once every four days. What do you mean dog mentality? You're right. Don't call me out. Chill. Sometimes you got to speak it into existence, man. Y'all know the vibes. I'm going to wrap this video up. All in all, Madden could have done a little bit of a better job when it comes to the content, but coronavirus, you got to give them a break. Next year, though, are we expecting big things? Yes. Are we expecting content every time there should be new content drop? Absolutely. Not even a question, man. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think EA is going to come through with their word? Are they going to be on the ball? Are they going to? I mean, we can't predict another coronavirus pandemic, but is EA going to be on the ball when it comes to letting us know man just keeping us filled and if something like this does happen again are they gonna have a plan b just to keep us entertained man let me know your thoughts and opinions down below man go ahead and click that sub button if you haven't already if you enjoy the vibe of the video you don't have to feel me smack the like button for your boy and i'm gonna see y'all soon man 715 damn i gotta hit the 99 cents over there I should have hit my barber up, man. Hair is getting a little rough again, man. You know what I'm saying? We still got another few weeks, though. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me know what y'all going to do down below. I'll see y'all soon.